Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for May 17th, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily chart of the ES. We basically have uh, exactly what we expected this entire time. After price rally from 1800s, we were looking for price to get stuck around 61s and chop, 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 chop. And so far, we've done that. Not only have we done that, we've done that basically for about two months running now. And it's not likely to stop anytime soon. We're still trading around 2061s. You can see why it is composite VPOC because it continues to chop up and down, up and down around that area. That's why I mentioned before there's not a lot of great edge trading around VPOC right now. There may be some moves up, there may be a move down, but it's going to come and slot right back and forth to kind of chop around. So you really have to be kind of selective about where you're looking to enter these trades. Anything at and below 2031 could be a good opportunity to fade it back up to 61. Anything at and above the 79s implies a move back. Uh, the previous session, what we were looking for was for strength to push prices towards 73 to 80. And prices got as high as 69, 70 and, uh, this morning. So we've seen a, a nice continuation toward that end as we were expecting more strength. Given that strong low that we formed here the previous uh, session, that could be the, the Monday low here that kind of leads to more strength toward the top of the range. Uh, but right now, again, as I mentioned, it could be more chopped back and forth. Until we see expansion from this range, we're likely going to see more of this type of behavior, unfortunately. Uh, if we look at an ES, here's a daily time, uh, rather an intraday time frame, 5,000 volume bar chart. Uh, the early rally off a of five day BPOC here up toward the previous uh, session's high, rejected off the high and back down. Uh, so we have a nice little range here that's formed off these highs. Uh, the recent rally was very significant here. We were talking about the rejection below the previous week's low. That was our pre-market report yesterday. That rejection implied a likely push back up toward 2060 and likely toward 2070 to 2080, right? 2073 to 2080. And you can see how that thing pushed higher nicely toward that end. Right now we have a nice little range that's formed on these highs and the expectation is that we could continue to chop around in this area. So as long as price remains uh, perhaps above the previous sessions closing VWAP or perhaps above this zone right here that implies more strength ahead. Failure to hold that area opens up a return back toward 2040s. Alright taking a look at crude oil. Here's a look at crude. Um, we're getting closer and closer to our, our ultimate target here, 4908. That's something we've been talking about for a while. Remember back here, I mentioned look for a pullback and then look for bulls to defend that pullback and squeeze toward 4908. That was our idea. And again, that was over a month ago, five weeks ago, I made that call and it's been chugging quietly higher toward that end. Uh, so we're almost there. We're almost there at 4908. You can also see right here that's the primary target for the week based off of the Monday low. You can see right here that's the previous week's close was defended and price rallied. Right now we're getting a pullback. Uh, this level right here that comes across, that's the previous month's high. That's 4678. That's going to be a very important level there. If price should come back to 4678, expect bulls to defend and launch one more squeeze toward 4908. Now 4908 is not the only level we can get to. I think that's the highest probability level that I've called out. Uh, but I think we can also rotate as high as to the 5110s, which is a 100% expansion target and also the next LVN on the other side of the HVN here, uh, which means typically speaking when you rally to value, you also auction perhaps to the other side of it to find rejection and then come back to retest it from above. So that could be the next path we see. We could be looking at not only 49s, but also 51s uh, very, very soon. Again, it kind of depends on this level right here. So should price come back, look for bulls to defend and squeeze. Failure to hold that level could think, turn this thing back down toward the previous week's low at 43.03. And at that point, this, the, up, the upside uh, you know, signal still comes in for bulls to come in and, and defend. Um, so that that still is still a very bullish trending market right now, despite uh, prehistory here for crude oil, and I think more upside could be seen ahead. But we may be very very near a point where we see a multi-day pullback. So I think we'd rather see 4908 reach quicker than not.
All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame. On an intraday basis, uh, price rallied into the 4842s, dropped back down. Uh, overnight VPOC shifted up. Overnight pivot, all these offered and price drops back down. Now below the overnight pivot, uh, the overnight VPOC after a shift down again. So a rejection we've seen basically at 4840s. And uh, that's led to a solid pushback. And now you can see that uh, recent support comes in at about 4730. And that's going to be an area that also coincides with the pivot point for the day. So this is going to be an early area of support to watch out for. Any failure to hold that level could get interesting, I think. Uh, the fact that prices saw expansion from a very tightly coiled range over the preceding two sessions and then saw expansion favors well for bulls to defend the next pullback for a continuation toward that 49. Remember, we're watching uh, the, the previous month's uh, key levels there. So if we bring up that previous month's high, it's 46.78. That's the ultimate level that I believe bulls need to defend. So should price return back down, Look for 46.65 to 46.78 to be a major area of support if price trades that low. All right, let's take a look at gold. We talked about gold the previous session. In the trading room, especially when price popped up, I said you got to be careful right now. Every time I look at gold, I'm reminded of, of riding a bull. It, it's you know back and forth, back and forth, trying to chop you and throw you off. And in this case, we got a significant tail event. We talked about it in the trading room. I mentioned that uh, a retest right into this area, 1282s, offers an opportunity to defend. And then we talked about the downside targets being uh, the primary weekly bear target at 1258, uh, with a shot at seeing 1247, which is the uh, weekly average target. In addition, we also have uh, the primary monthly target in view which is 1241.60 and that's based off of this high so right now we could see more weakness downward toward 1258 the very least especially based off the recent rejection here and we could see follow through into these next targets as well so gold could be headed back toward composite VPOC this rejection off 1280s is very significant especially following this session and now the retest is already being defended so we could be looking at 1258 ahead at the very least by the end of the week. Uh, let's take a look at the NQ. Here's the NQ. The NQ is kind of uh, a little different than the ES. We had a great rejection day here which we were able to call downward. Uh, finding the low is a little more difficult until this day popped up uh, with 4300. And then once that happened you can see that prices have now basically traded in a range here. So we're chopping around in a, in a range. So we had a price distribution here that developed and one that developed here. And um, I think we're still in this distribution. So we could still see back and forth. But overall, 4,300, very important level. I think 4,400 is a very important level right now. And uh, I think we chop back and forth and test the edges a little bit more, perhaps. And then we see perhaps a move back up as the price trades in the upper part of the range. I'm not sure we're ready to break out just yet. Uh, and so I think uh, eventually we see a little bit of expansion and that could widen the range uh, until greater expansion occurs from the larger trading range. So key areas 4400, 4300 right now, not a lot of, not a lot of edge at this moment and 4340 is a major pivot right now that we're chopping around. So if we look at the intraday time frame, you can see we had a significant uptrending market. We were watching 4355 and, uh, and bulls were able to over overcome and overtake that level right there 4355 push up a little hold and a rally and since then we have a nice clear range that's developed a rejection off the previous sessions high now we're back at the previous sessions close price perhaps we get a move back up and kind of trade in a range I think overall uh, you know bulls want to defend pullbacks to try and see a push through 4400 but we're in a range right now from 4400 to 4300 and that's kind of the range so I, I think uh, I'd be looking for any signs here that that price can't hold here for perhaps returning it back to five day VPOC 4337. Uh, this area right here is going to be very important. So should price drop into this zone, bulls may want to defend here for a squeeze through 4400. So those are a couple of plans of attack right now. I think early on it's a trading range day uh, for the most part from 4370 to 4390. 
at least short term until this thing transitions to the next phase. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.